Welcome back to this part of the uh, Google Apps Overview. Now, uh, for this part, I want to focus on Google Docs. Um, you can access Google Docs directly from your inbox, or you can go to docs.djis.edu.sa to access directly to your documents. Um, now, most of you, if not all of you, have experienced Google Docs as part of the online gradebook as the school has implemented the uh, online gradebook instead of the um, desktop um, gradebooks. Um, actually, Google Docs has lots of potentials, more, much, much more than uh, online gradebooks. Uh, it is an online collaborative uh, platform where uh, students, teachers, or any peer can collaborate on the same document in real time. Um, it's very actually it's very intuitive and very easy to use. Uh, what you see here is the repository that I have in Google Docs, my Google Docs. Um, now this is a demo um, account, so uh, this is not actually my account. Uh, this is only to show you how uh, Google Docs works. Uh, in this repository, on the left-hand side, you have the navigation. Uh, here you can create new documents, uh, presentation, spreadsheet, form, drawing, and collection. And at the same time, you can upload uh, a folder, files, and um, you can do some of the settings, uh, whether to convert these like to Google Docs format or leave them as they are. Um, in the middle here, you have all the documents, and these are uh, presented in the uh, reverse chronological order from the newest to the oldest. Let's say here, you have the documents modified this year. These were actually 2000, um, earlier this 2011, and the ones modified this month. And at the beginning here, you have the, those modified this week. Uh, as you can see, you have some of the resumes, the user manual of my students that are sent to me um, via Google Docs. Um, the beginning, you can, for example, um, you can have your students uh, send you uh, their assignments via Google Docs. So they can upload to the Google Docs and share it with you. Uh, but before I uh, discuss how this is done with the students, uh, let's go back to creating a new document. Let's say you want to start a new document, which is the word processor. Um, this is, as you see, this is very easy to use. You can change the name of the document. Okay, let's say I want to do a writing frame. And <coughs> uh, we can type whatever you want on this uh, document. Um, now, if you want to share it with anyone else, you can go to the uh, right-hand side and click the drop-down arrow and click Sharing Settings. Now, as you can see that I have it uh, as a default that people at Dodger International School who have their link can view this document. I want to change it to make it public on the web or anyone with this link or only Dajan International School who have the uh, link can find and access it. Or can make it private for me, only only for me to view it. Um, let's say I want those who have the link to this document, only at Dajan International School can access this website. And I can add, they, ha they can also edit this document. So when I click this checkbox, it means those who have this link are able to access and edit the document that I have here. And I click Save. Then here I can either copy this one and paste it into my email and send the emails, or make it easier for you and add people to edit your document. These will be your collaborators. Now, uh, what I like about Google is that the minute you start typing the uh, the system will suggest uh, names of people in our organization, which is Dajan International School. Uh, let's say I want to um, share it with my other account. 
and you can see that it suggests the name and I want to set it that this person can edit or that that person can view it so in this case I want it I want him to edit and you can type a an optional message this is frame that we will develop for our next writing workshop right so and then can click share and it's done the, that person will receive an email notification as you can see here that I have shared it with uh, him and that he can edit uh, whenever you want you can revert it to um, to can view in this case that person can only view the document and cannot edit that and if you want to um, delete your document you can uh, change the ownership from your own ownership to that person's ownership or you can delete it completely and then you click close right um, in addition let's say I want to write something here um, the writing frame uh, design for our next writing session okay um, as you can see you can either save it directly or the Google Docs will save it directly every seven seconds or every five seconds it depends on the speed of your internet connection and the same text will appear on the uh, other side or my peers or collaborators document now if how can I communicate with my uh, collaborators um, the best way to do it is to add discussions and discussions is a new feature of the Google Docs um, let's say I want to uh, add a comment here you can insert it from here and add a comment um, let's say I want to ask which session is that and post it so the other collaborator will see the uh, discussion here whenever he clicks on the highlighted one this will appear and he can reply to my comment and I can add discussion which is the uh, main discussion for the whole document here the others will see them and they will receive an email notification if this is set if this is set that you can enable any make a notification if it's not set then you can uh, click here okay now this is an overview of documents I'm going to close here and notice that this is saved automatically so you don't have to save it okay and this will appear here now let's say I have a lot of documents and I need to organize them the best way to do that is to create a new collection now this new collection can be uh, let's say um, create 10 okay I can add to grade 10 and in grade 10 I want also to add a new collection which is writing okay so I have two collections embedded you can embed as much as you want uh, collections here and let's say I want this to be for grade 10 writing so the best way to do it is to um, drag it into the writing here uh, let's say this one should be in grade 10 I drag it back to writing and this will uh, notify me that this is in the writing part of the uh, grade 10 okay the same thing applies to presentations or oh, I can start a new presentation presentations have the same concept of the Google documents and as you um, most of you know how to deal with PowerPoint this is the same 
and you can share it with also the uh, same collaborators okay we're going to get back to all of these in details afterwards and you have also the form this form is you can be used for questionnaires online questionnaires can be used for um, polls can be used as quizzes um, and the result of this form uh, would appear in a spreadsheet okay uh, now this is the main overview of Google Docs um, I would like to add one thing that um, I'm gonna give you an example here uh, this is one of my students who sent me an an essay this is an old essay uh, he sent me this essay for me co to correct and give me him his, my feedback now the same document is shared between me and my student as you can see here okay between the three of us actually I added this uh, from the other uh, uh, assignment so what I do here is give him my feedback by highlighting the errors that he has for example like choosing uh, writing and insert a comment and add my comments here alright I'm not going to do it now it's only for a uh, presentation so this is mainly the Google Docs and uh, this is only the overview it's very wide you have lots of things to do in Google Docs and um, let's move on to Google Sites to give you another overview of how we can harness the power of Google Sites 